we struggled to, to get them off the field defensively. Uh, really poor on third down all night long. And, uh, you know, they kind of played right into the, what they want to do is just wear you down, and they did a great job of that. Uh, offensively, uh, a lot of three and outs, only three to 16 on third down, which put the defense right back out there and fatigued them and uh, you know, really couldn't get anything going. And I, I, I was, for the first time maybe since we've been here, just was really disappointed in some of our special teams play. Uh, we got a lot of new guys that are in some of those roles. and not sure that we responded to the uh, intensity or the physical nature that we got played with. So it's rough, not, not what, how we want to start. I was nervous about coming in with as many new moving parts, especially on offense, and, and we just we just didn't respond well or play well when a really good football team beat us. So we got a lot of work to do, and we got a short period of time against a very good opponent coming up next week. So it's a we, we've got to uh, we got to get some things ironed out. What you got? Well, I knew they were, I mean, we knew coming in they were huge, and, and you know they're built for long edges, and that um, they really weren't going to sit back there and, and, and do a lot of you know patting the ball. They're going to run the ball, a lot of RPOs, get it out quick, and then they take a few shots. And, and we got to them maybe once or twice, but it's just not the way they're, it's not the way they design things. It's about getting it out quick. Um, I was hoping we might get some more pressure, but I think we just struggled just to tackle the run game all night long. I mean, they just, they were able to, not a bunch of huge runs, but just enough to keep, keep them ahead of the chains and keep them really comfortable and, and um, you know, just kind of keep their rhythm going. I don't, you know, I don't think we responded well to much of anything. To be honest with you, it was uh, disappointing. Um, trying to, uh, I know we're in great shape and we were showing that all camp, but it's the intensity level. I just didn't see anybody step up, and you know, we're. Um, with all the new guys, all the skilled guys on offense, I think guys are searching for roles, as are the quarterbacks. And uh, I think the defense was frustrated. Just, again, just, they were on the field more than they needed to be. And that, uh, you know, third down, we just, you know, kept just being um, not quite where we needed to be. And I really didn't see a great response. Maybe I'll see it on film, but I didn't feel it on the sideline. It was, it was frustrating all night because I, I know we're capable of it, but I didn't see it. Well, tonight, I mean, third down efficiency defense, we've got to get people off the chain, off the field. We had them in backed up situations a couple of times, third and long, and uh, third, you know, medium long, where, where you you got to feel like we've got a chance to get them off the field, and we didn't. Um, you know, offensively, I mean, there was no rhythm ever. I mean, we had snaps on the ground. Uh, we had guys movement. We dropped balls that typically we don't drop. I mean, Dijon Pascal dropped two balls, and the guys made play after play the last couple of years. And uh, whether we... Built this game up too much emotionally, and, and, and it was a letdown when things didn't go. I, I don't know what it was, but it definitely wasn't characteristic of what I expected based off the work we've had leading in. I mean, we knew it was going to be a good football team, and, we, and I felt like it'd be a 60-minute game when it uh, when it kind of got away from us in the second quarter. We just didn't respond very well, and never really got back um, into the game the way I think we're capable of doing. Um, we've not played a good game against these guys yet. We played three times and haven't played well yet. So it's, that goes on me. That's my fault. I never read it. Uh, I think he's still learning, unfortunately. I mean, it's been a lot. You know, he, he didn't get to go through the spring. Uh, there's times he did some really good things. He moved the chains with his feet. Uh, gave guys a couple opportunities to make catches that they didn't. Could have moved the chains. Uh, his eyes were in the wrong spot a few times. I think there's some things that he's still thinking that you don't want to be thinking as a quarterback. You want to be able to react and play. And so we've got to get him comfortable. He's scrappy, uh, he's competitive, and at times he was you know, a spark for us, but he's, he's got to be more consistent. we got to help him. I'm not sure he got a lot of help from anywhere. Yeah, but Fresno stayed at home. Justice, he got the one series with the decision not to take him out. Was that made tonight, or was it you know, based on the results of that? Yeah. I, I think it was a personality thing. Just I think uh, when he came back to the sideline and how he responded to Buster, I, I felt like Buster just had to make the call at the time. It wasn't pre planned. Uh, and to me, those are judgment calls you make at the time based off how things are going. And whether he uh, felt like he was a little rattled or over, I, I don't know. But you don't have to ask Buster. But uh, it was the plan originally was to continue to kind of rotate in and out. And, you know, nothing was going well. So that, you're looking for any kind of spark at that point. Had several drop snaps. Was that on the center quarterback? Some of both. There were some snaps that were low. Not, not, and it's not something you expect out of Devin. 
I don't know if it had to do with how he's being played up front, but it, it, it allowed us, or it didn't allow us to get any kind of rhythm going. We're, we're trying to move the chains and, and reaching down, you know, grabbing a ball off your shoestrings is not a great way to get your eyes downfield. So, um, which is strange because it's not been something he's been doing in practice. It happened tonight. It happened way more than it should. Um, go back and watch film, but you know, just just watching it or seeing it react on the field, mainly that stuff of snaps were, were not where they needed to be. Take ball and the rest of the team coach, that kind of, uh, uh, you know, it's not ideal, but uh, some of them were not design runs, obviously. Some of them were trying to get up some plus one uh, possibilities. We knew they were big up front, and uh, we're trying to add some numbers to it. Um, you know, we knew we weren't going to physically move them. We were trying to create some gaps and get some numbers on them, but and maybe who we are. I mean, uh, to some degree, uh, both he and Justice both can run. So if, if, if that's what we got to utilize to, uh, you know, move the chains, we got to find something that didn't happen tonight, though. Okay. Johnson was hamstring. Uh, don't know how bad. It obviously wasn't effective to come back. Robert's been dealing with an ankle for the last week. He tried to go, and it just we just it couldn't be effective. So, uh, you know, hopefully we can have him ready by next week. I don't think either one of them are long, long-lasting injuries, but they're, they weren't going to be very effective out there like they were. It was. It's not the first or the last time that's happened. Um, I've come off the field on a Thursday with one of the best practices ever and go out and struggle, turn the ball over, and I've gone out and had – a Thursday practice where I was ready to you know, send them all home and go out and score 60. I, I, it's what you bring to the table that night. They were there was tons of energy coming in. The environment was electric. They were, I mean, you could tell the guys were eager to play. We just didn't play well ever. There was just no rhythm. Uh, it seemed like we were just kind of pulling things out of thin air, and, and nobody ever gave us a spark. Uh, even the punt turn, we finally get you know, we get a flag on that. It just um, I, I don't. I was encouraged going in. I thought we were making progress offensively, and it would probably we have. It's never as good, it's never as bad as you think. Uh, it's a good football team that we play, but practice doesn't guarantee you. Know, last practice doesn't guarantee you're going to play well. And we, and we just, you know, just extremely efficient. He's been efficient the two times we've seen him. I think they do a great job managing the system for him. Um, uh, they're able to create some really um, – very easy throws for him, and then when he had to make some one-on-one -on -one throws, he, he did a good job. I've seen him twice, and both times he's played well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, not much of a moral victory. Uh, I don't know. It's got to be a wake-up call. We don't have a choice. It just gets worse from here. We're either going to wake up or we're going to be really frustrated. And, you know, I told, told everybody day one, this – this team has the potential to be really, really dynamic, but potential is, is a waste if we don't tap into it. And without some cohesiveness, without some rhythm, uh, without a spark and, and some intensity and some guys just stepping up and kind of willing it to happen, you, you saw the result tonight. And there's a lot of, I mean, we got a lot of great players out there. There's a lot of dudes you can fly around, but we didn't play together and we didn't play well. And so the result's going to come out, you know, bad. And well, it's about as bad as it can get. Yeah, I got to take it one day at a time. So, I mean, right now, you know, nobody's consistent enough to hang your hat on. I mean, I, I, I'd like to think that, you know, the more reps they get, the more comfortable they're going to get. Um, I know we're asking a lot of, of Chad, considering he came in when he did, and, and the inexperienced level of justice all over with a new offense. I just, I don't know what the learning curve is going to be. I'm hoping for it to be shorter than longer, but it, it you know, Tonight was a pretty stark indication that we got we got a lot of work to do, and we got to simplify it for them and give them a chance to be successful. And some other guys got to step up and help them. We got to make some competitive catches. Uh, you know, you know, I'm, I'm sure we'll watch some of the run game, and, and we got to stay on some blocks and crap. I mean, there's a lot of this is not just a quarterback issue. This is a team issue, and, and really all three phases. We get 25 total. Yeah. I don't know. I had to watch the tape. I, I wouldn't know. I mean. Um, there's not a lot to be positive about, to be, to be honest with you, so I wouldn't want to jump to a conclusion on that. If he earned it, uh, if he has a good week of practice, does things well, I mean, I'm, 
we're going to keep searching until we find the right mixture. And, and I don't think it's just quarterback where that's the case. I mean, I think we've really got to find the right mixture across the board. Was there one? Yeah, yeah. Way, way, a couple sparks. Uh, and, and Warren at times, yeah. Uh, you know, right there in the third quarter, found a couple things that were productive. Just uh, penalties and snaps and, you know, drop balls. Just enough to keep you off rhythm and not ever really get it going. Uh, you're behind the chains because we weren't efficient on first down, so there was no tempo. I mean, I think they played with a lot better tempo than we did, but they were good on first down. You don't get a first down, it's hard to create tempo. When you do, you can. And uh, so it was really sporadic and not what we want to be. Uh, well, it was wide open earlier. We turned a guy loose. We could have had that play. We were in to play in the first quarter and had a, had a chance to be a home run, and then we turned a guy loose on the backside and couldn't get the ball out. Uh, I, I think he's got a chance to be a really good player. He's uh, he's taken to the position. He's got all the skill sets to be there and play well. Um, you know, he's caught the ball well when we get an opportunity to. It's hard to tell about blocking. I think I think he's improving there. He's not a finished product. You know, we didn't block anybody very well tonight, so it's, it's honestly it's hard for me to tell you without watching on tape. But the spark was in one catch, and uh, his attitude and effort level has been good. So we'll see. Uh, I, we need him to play well. Couldn't get anything going on first down. Some of the plus one runs and uh, RPOs were built in, and we're behind the chains. Yeah, it's not not where you want to be. None of the, nothing was by side. I'll be honest with you. It was it was searching for answers, and, and we didn't find that many.